Commander, I see you have purchased the necessary party supplies. When you are ready, you can send invitations from your private terminal. What sort of party are you hoping to have tonight, Commander? I could set things up for quiet conversation, or would you prefer a more energetic evening? I think it's time to blow off some steam. Excellent choice. I will also modify my appearance to be... Hey, come on in. Thanks for coming. Thanks for the invite. Make yourselves at home. Thank you. Count on it. I love you, man. I can't get over the size of this apartment. The electric bill alone could have paid for my college tuition. Or funded the war. Or made a nice down payment on one of those Atlas mechs. Always one in one. Or put an air conditioner in this suit. You have no idea. So, Shepard, you can serve this swill, but can you drink it? Someone has to drive you all home. Are we sure the Normandy is still there? Has anyone else tried to steal it? Do you still have your toothbrush? We can always get another Normandy. Call up Cerberus and ask them to please build us the SR3. But wouldn't that require you to change your name? Tali Zora von Normandy SR3. It's Vas Normandy. <laughs> Von means one who has a weak bladder, which feels appropriate right about now. We've seen a lot of good times on the old girl. That we have, indeed. Here, here. Some of you more than others. Man, this music is hot. The right music sets the tone for the whole party, right, Esteban? Sure. My party. <laughs> no. Hey, Shepard. You gonna have a drink? Sure. How's everyone doing? Ask me after five more of these. I'll drink to that. Am I gonna find you on the floor tomorrow morning, LT? <laughs> Here's hoping. Well, that's great. I can wake you up with my abuelas huevos rancheros. Hey, thanks for doing this. I kind of needed to unwind a bit, even just for a night. I think we've all learned to rest. That we have, Cortez. Here's to us. And a chance to rest. This is unexpected. <laughs> and fun. <laughs> Your guests appear to be enjoying this relaxed atmosphere. Would you like me to keep everything at its current intensity? I want to check on a few things before Certainly, we Commander. You know why Cerberus is gonna lose? Demographics. You recruit a guy who's 20 and got no life, he'll work his ass off for the cause. But do you see any old? Shut up and punch me. Harder, <laughs> You know, I miss the days when Cerberus was just hilariously incompetent. You know, when you two ran things. Excuse me? <laughs> the only thing I was in charge of was the Lazarus Project, which, you will note, was very successful. Hey, Commander, this is Cerberus. We were studying some Rachni, and they got loose and killed all our guys. Can you take care of that? It's one system over from where we hooked some guy up to the Geth, who then got loose and killed all our guys. They did rack up quite a body count. At least back then, it was usually their own bodies. We knew some cells were bad, but the Alliance and the Council weren't doing anything, and we were doing good work. But we did bring Commander Shepard back. And after taking down the Collectors, I cut ties with Cerberus, got loose, 
and started killing all their guys. For which we thank you. Jeff, do you remember that I am also a Cerberus project? Oh, crap. <laughs> Edie, up for some bad examples okay, of human behavior? Where's my sniper rifle? Your guests appear to be enjoying this relaxed atmosphere. Would you like me to keep everything at its current intensity? This is nice. Yes, Commander. <laughs> so, Edie said you found her voice attractive. Well, actually, she said the word you used was like, oh! What happened? Kids are good. Kicking ass. Where can I Wait. Work? Are you two arguing over Edie? No! Probably not. Okay, you know she smashed my head against the side of a shuttle? I know! Twice! I heard it from Liara! That was like forever ago. Plus, it wasn't Edie back then. It's really unfair of you to even bring it up. Yeah, what the hell was I thinking? Probably just brain damage making me touchy. Apology accepted. I do recall running into you once or twice in the shower. Look, Shepard, there's no easy way to say this, which is why it's fortunate I'm pretty hammered right now. Trainer has a thing for robots. Wanker. I mean, the tech background, being all in the Edie's voice. Just think about it. I'm gonna kill you later, just so we're clear. Fortunately, Shepard, you're what, 30% cybernetics since Cerberus brought you back? That's probably enough for her. Is it really a full 30%? Hmm. Just bear in mind, she's probably gonna check to see whether your back lights up during sex. So, there's reach around action. It's, you know, because she's looking for your cyborg parts. Oh, it doesn't. Where can I wash my hands? That better not have been an insult. <laughs> I heard the footfall. Not enjoying the party, Samara? Oh, yes, Shepard. I am. Are you worried about me? I only stepped away for a moment. Reflecting on one's place in the universe while a party rages within reach can feel oddly self-affirming. Meditating isn't often considered party behavior. Perhaps. I don't attend many. Can read this. Drink. What are you guys talking about? Tally was acting out the differences between the original Normandy and the SR2. Acting. It was... evocative. It was a surprisingly accurate demonstration. Yep, ever yeah, but which one's better? The SR2 is harder to perform. Does that make it better or worse? The SR1 was a decent ship, but the SR2 gave the Normandy a fresh start. It made it something truly great. Just look at what it accomplished. The SR2 made a good ship better. The original Normandy was developed by the Turian Council and the Alliance. It's a symbol of cooperation between members of the galactic community. And we wouldn't be where we are now without it. Yeah. We wouldn't have the SR2 if it hadn't been for the original Normandy. It was a great ship. 
It made the quietest little sounds. A sort of shoom. Shoom. Yeah, that's good to get out of the cargo hold. The party appears to be a success, Commander. Do you require anything further? Let's set up a Please card. let me know if my astronomical calculations... Well, look who's here. Doesn't have to be fancy. Everybody okay? Specialist trainer is preparing drinks. I had no idea you knew how. Try me. How about a quad kicker? Spiced rum, bourbon, ginger ale, no curry powder, I'm allergic. I read about something called a tasty tankard. Irish cream, coconut rum, iced chocolate, and butterscotch schnapps, if Shepard has it. Impressive. I almost wish I could experience intoxication. Well, let me make you something. Maybe a mix of fruit juice, vodka, cognac, white wine, and blue thessia. Interesting. Now, if you'll excuse me, Liara needs a shadow brocatini, no lime. Garrus asked for a dextro heat sink. Jack asked for a mix of vodka, whiskey, bourbon, and any energy drink I can find. Miranda is unhappy because her glass of perfection calls for strawberry liqueur, which we don't have. And Tali just wants anything she can drink through a straw. Glad to see you have things well in hand. You keep it pretty quiet, Shepard. Nobody is. Filaments, the answer. You think? Then the better. Tough to spot. Yeah, a five by five grid across the glass should do the trick. <laughs> we'll do more than that. All right, Garrus, I gotta know. What are you doing? Hmm. Oh, uh, nothing. Just uh, admiring the polish on this glass. I've got a blue wire here, a red one, a yellow one, and one that looks like vomit. Describe the vomit one. Purplish, like after too many shots. What are you up to now, Zaid? Next time another clone of yours tries stealing your life, we'll have a nice little surprise rigged for them. Isn't that right, Garrus? Spare no expense. I'll give that. You're a great pilot. The best, but go on. All I'm saying is that when it comes to shuttles, I got your beat. I think you said so yourself. Ooh, shut up. I love this music. Oh, I'm tired. Tally, are you okay? Yep. You want to see my tattoo? I don't think you have a tattoo, Tally. It's a hologram. Omni tattoo. Omni tat, omni two. <laughs> Under the suit. You know, for me. You want to know what it is? You want to know? It's a pretty bird made of rainbows. It is flying out of the eye hole of a skull, being held in the mouth of a thresher maw with a naked woman holding a sword on its back. 
check it out. You sure you're okay, Tally? Fine. Suit doesn't let me get overly intoxic. Intox. Drunk. Just have it all flushed out in a minute. <laughs> You're bluffing. Don't be so sure. I got a pretty good poker face. I... Your guests appear to be enjoying this relaxed atmosphere. Would you like me to keep everything at its current intensity? I think it's time to turn things up a bit. I will arrange for up-tempo music and additional cocktails right away, Commander. Back when Asari was There's a big party in there. Can we come in? <laughs> no, you can't. Go away. How's it going over here? You can't come in. It's going good. I see that. Anyone interesting trying to get Not in? really. No. Get lost. <laughs> no. You should maybe let me decide that. Huh? Okay, but I'm telling you it's ugly out there. It can't be that bad. Hello? Is this Commander Shepard? Oh my god, oh my god! I can't believe it's you! Runt, keep up the good work. Will do. I told you already. No! Yes, I like pie. And no, you can't come in. <laughs> Absolutely. Biotics are impressive. I'm not saying they aren't. You're just saying that they're not that impressive. I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying... Oh, shit. No, it's fine. I'm sure no one here is insulted. Maybe. What are you trying to say? <laughs> hey, what's going on here? Everyone playing nice? Of course, Shepard. James was just explaining how physical conditioning trumps biotics. Really? You go in there, James? Commander, just listen. Give me one, too. Biotics are strong, but unpredictable. All that cooling down. Shepard, where did you find this guy? A person can improve their physique, but biotics, they are what they are. He's joking. Right, James? I mean, what's your point exactly? Okay, okay, maybe it's not conditioning exactly. Maybe it's just the condition of one James Vega. Come on, Ashley. Check it out. This guy here never has to cool down. In fact, the hotter, the better. Hilarious. James, this is a no-brainer. Biotics win, hands down. We're talking about harnessing dark energy here. Yeah, I hear you. Look around you. That had to be an argument you couldn't win. It's okay, man. Yeah, well, you win some, you lose some. Ashley, you couldn't back me up? Back you up because... Okay. More drinks? Snacks? Help yourselves. No ice. Specialist trainer. May I ask you a question? You could ask me anything, Edie. When you believed me to be a simple VI, you made comments about my voice. Oh, no. Should I find somewhere else to be? No! No, no, I wanted to ask you about... Uh, weren't you saying something about the Normandy's drive core? Uh, no. Could you? I wish to understand... What's wrong, dude? I am asking Specialist Trainer about why she found my voice sexually attractive. This is a really good cheese, Shepard. I put some in through the filters. Is it organic? 
On one occasion, you said that you wanted to, quote, pin my voice against the wall and run your tongue along its collarbone. Well, there's a context there that... You were talking about quantum entanglement, and I didn't know you were an AI. There's some kind of herb in the cheese that I can't quite place. Is it sage or basil? Anyway, I was just joking. You know, stress of the retrofits and... Really? My diagnostics suggested that you were genuinely aroused. It's really rare to get herbs, dextro cheeses. The Turians almost never bother. You have diagnostics. Cerberus programmed you to check body language. I get more reliable results measuring pupil dilation and thermal readings of erogenous zones. Oh, good lord. Oh, wait, this is dextro cheese, right? Kila, did I forget to scan the cheese? This is why I don't drink. Good to see you. Fair is fair, trainer. Edie has a right to ask about what you said. I was very interested in trainer's ability to develop sexual feelings for what was, at the time, a bodiless voice. You are all terrible. Edie, I apologize for saying that I wanted to roll naked with your voice in certain sheets. Oh, I was not offended. In fact, it was flattering. Even the part where I wanted to grab your voice by the hair and nibble my way down its back. I do not, in fact, remember you saying that, Samantha. Oh, that wasn't out loud. Never mind. Don't mind me. I'm just going to run a toxin treatment program so I don't die. What? You're crazy. Shepard. Zaid was just keeping me company. Hello there. You're admiring the art? Beauty, as they say, is in the eye of the beholder. Hey, Shepard. Hey, beautiful. What do you think, Sabara? Hang on, hang on. Don't get all snooty on me. I didn't say I didn't like it. I do like it, actually. If I'm completely honest, I'm not sure what it is. What the hell? I like the way the colors blend and the depth of the... Actually, I have no idea what I'm saying. It makes me feel uneasy. Like when you're alone in the dark, lying in wait, and a cold wind brushes across your face like the kiss of death. Huh. You are a complicated individual, Aid Masani. You bet your sweet Asari ass. So, you're leading the Grissom Academy students? Yeah. That a problem? Just a surprise. Your psych profile suggested you were mainly interested in yourself. You're telling me I'm only interested in myself? <laughs> oh, that's just fucking perfect. Did it occur to you that maybe I'm trying to grow as a goddamn person? Oh, I could tell you were growing. I assumed it was whatever that is you're wearing. Oh, these? Well, yeah. They were strapped down with a leather belt before. It's kind of a stupid move to show off your rack in the middle of a maximum security prison ship. I never had the pleasure. <sighs> You'd never survive. You might break a nail. You have no idea what I'm capable of. You're a spoiled rich girl cheerleader. Victim. Test tube clone princess. I think it's past your bedtime. Oh, did I hit a nerve? I didn't get to read your psych profile. Ladies, I see we've all gotten enough to drink. Relax, Shepard. I'm not gonna smear the walls with her this time. And I couldn't possibly think of anything worse to do to her than that haircut. Hey, cheerleader. My hair and I have been fighting fruits and marauders on the front lines of this war. Meanwhile, you got your big bubbly butt kicked by some guy with a sword. You see, Shepard? Best of friends. <laughs> oh, oh, 
I'll let her know you said that. Honestly, I thought it might help if you two just kissed and got it over with. What? I mean, this is all just sexual tension, right? Two powerful biotics, forceful personalities, confident in their sexuality. You are shitting me. Oh, my God. You are a terrible human being, Shepard. I need another drink. One for me, too. No ice. Don't worry, Shepard. The cheerleader and I are just messing around. You sure? You two seem pretty serious. All right, Jack. I hate to say it, but Cerberus was wrong about you. No shit. You're still violent and maladjusted. But the elusive man never would have predicted you'd bond with the Grissom Academy kids. You are growing. Despite everything Cerberus did to you, I find that extremely admirable. Wow. Thanks. I still really hate you, but you have fantastic tits. <laughs> All right. I can live with that. Well, why didn't I think of that? I'm pissed, but I'm not gonna let it ruin the party. Or should I say, we are not. No, right, Williams? Right. Whoa, leave me out of this, hombre. More drinks, yes? Jacob. thing beautiful i've had a few drinks you've had a few drinks i haven't right still what do you say that we sit by that fireplace and snuggle you've never struck me as the snuggling type even a ruthless killer's got to have a soft side and i can see from here you definitely have a soft side <laughs> come on no well that's clear enough people around for fun people you know people things stuff pets cars whatever of course not oh yeah all the time well that was mortifying tell me about it you need not be embarrassed sexual attraction is natural for organics and given your orientation and interest in synthetics. We can, we can stop talking about this whenever you like. I practically poisoned myself with cheese trying to change the subject. If you are interested, I have a list of extranet sites involving romantic relationships between organics and synthetics. No, 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 you can't even, no. Oh, okay, sure, send it my way. Oh. Shepard? <laughs> what was that? 
was the name. Uh, yeah, no. All of you once more. Hello, Shepard. Back when Asari was greased. You can roast a whole pig in that fireplace. Looks broken, I'm sure Shepard was today. Damn, this is good.